What's up guys, my name's Clayton. And this is Cohen from CCB Productions. Before the video starts, we just wanted to give you a little heads up. This is our first video. Uh, we are gonna be coming at you with food reviews throughout the week, uh, ranging from fast food restaurants and food challenges. Let us know what you want us to review next in the comments below. We're looking at all your suggestions. We'll see you in the next one. Sold out of the barbecue. Thank you for choosing Arby's. Order whenever you're ready. Hi, can I get two of the six piece uh, classic buffalo wings? Uh, the deal with the fries, yeah. And then could we also get two of the caramel cinnamon shakes? Well, cinnamon shakes, what else? Uh, that'll be it. Alrighty, at the window, 1801. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are ranch is in there. Thank you. We'll grab this. All right, guys, welcome to the video. As you can see here today, we are trying Arby's. We have their new caramel shake and our boneless wings. They didn't have the uh, barbecue, so we both got buffalo. We also have their crinkle fries, which are not as good as the curly fries. Full cell review. Right off the bat, this is what you got right here. Five dollars for six boneless wings and crinkle fries. Small crinkle fries. Let's just get right into it. You ready? Mm -hmm. Very, very basic uh, buffalo sauce, but it works. You know, I, I thought there was gonna be a lot more breading. Thought the bread to meat ratio is gonna be bad. It's actually a pretty decent bite. It lacks a little bit of crunch, but that could be because of the amount of sauce and from the travel distance from Arby's to where we are now. Yeah. Overall, the flavor is pretty good. No, I, I like these, these are. They all have a fair amount of sauce on them. Crinkle fries, not as good as the curly fries. Point proven. They are well salted though, but of course just not, not what you would get out of the curly fry. Curly fries are just iconic. This is, these are good. No complaints, but they're good. As for the deal itself, I'd say $5 for six tenders and fries. That, that's not the worst deal to come out of Arby's. That's a good lunch. It's a good lunch, yeah. Personally, I, I'd want a little more. You can upgrade to nine wings for $6. I think that's also a pretty pretty damn good deal. But um, what I'm really excited for is our shake right here. Caramel shake. We weren't planning to review this, but uh, we saw it in the drive-thru, so had to get it. Two and one. Two and one. All right, let's see. Hmm. What do you think? I think it's good. It almost tastes like a Wendy's Frosty, but I do taste the caramel. Yeah, I was going to say that. It's more, um, definitely tastes a lot more like ice cream than a milkshake. Yeah, it took a while to get it out of the straw. That That's kind of throwing me off a little. More something you might eat with a spoon. Mm -hmm. All right, so out of five, I'm going to have to give the wings a four out of five. This is because I thought the flavors were great, but the only thing they lacked of was a little bit of crunch. I would definitely agree four out of five here. 
If it had a little crunch, definitely be a five out of five. Mm -hmm. I will be getting these again though. Now for the crinkle fries, I think there are three out of five. I think a lot of other fast food fries are better and even the curly fries from Arby's are better, but they aren't bad at all. They're just in the middle. I think if we're ranking this on fries alone, if we're not including the curly fries, I think I'd still personally give them a four out of five. I like them. They have a good crunch. They're well seasoned. They're just, the curly fries are banger. All right, now for the shake, I'm gonna have to go three out of five, only because I feel like it's more of an ice cream than a shake. It didn't taste bad, but wasn't exactly what I was originally intending to have. I'm gonna have to go with two out of five. Wasn't a big fan. It's just ice cream in a cup, really. I was expecting a little more milkshakiness, but you know, it's not bad per se. Two, two and a half. So overall, the, the meal is pretty mid-tier, I'd say. Um, I wasn't really disappointed by too much, just just the shake. Cohen seemed to like it more than I did. Mm -hmm. But um, if you guys want to see more, just leave a like on the video. Let us know what you want to see in the comments. We're going to keep expanding and uploading. The quality of videos is going to go up. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll go anywhere, so just let us know.